What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob Hollow Everest back again with another reaction here on Trailer Tuesday. Today we are going to be reacting to the last week's trailer for the Blue Beetle. Um, big Blue Beetle fan, particularly Ted Cord and Jaime Reyes. Uh, don't care much about Dan. Sorry. Um, I am very curious to see how they. Um, tie in the character of Blue Beetle and the Scarab? Like, is there going to be a pre-established Blue Beetle? Because the first Blue Beetle wore the Scarab. The second Blue Beetle, Ted Kord, did not wear the Scarab. He was a Batman-type character, and he was the inspiration for Night Owl from Watchmen. Fun fact. Uh, and he was best friends with Booster Gold, who we know is going to be getting a movie, thanks to James Gunn's um, look forward for the DC. Uh... And he eventually acted as kind of a mentor figure to Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle. Um, there have been a lot of really cool renditions of Jaime um, in Injustice 2, in Young Justice, the, the series. And he was a main character, especially in Season 2, when they deal with the Reach, who are the origin of the Scarab, and they deal with... Uh, they introduce Green Beetle and Black Beetle, and the Black Beetle scenes, you know the scene I'm talking about if you've seen the show, has some of the most gnarly scenes where he puts someone through a wall. Um, he's also in Batman the Brave and the Bold. He's in the, T the, the cartoon. Uh, he was in the new animated universe movies where he kind of had like a rivalry with Damian Wayne's Robin. Um... And his run in the comics was pretty fun during the reboot. Uh, so there's a lot of potential there. Uh, and I'm very curious to see which angle they go with Blue Beetle. So without further ado, we're going to dive right on in. Make sure you're subscribed to see more content as I, come, as I put it out. But for now, here we go. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. Scraping the gum off that lounger or what? And obviously a big fan of Cobra Kai, which is basically a soap opera. Everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet. Jaime Reyes. You're Jaime. That's Cord. Yep. They don't get out much. I just wanna rap. Jenny? And he found the Yep, the scarab. Outside of Cord. Oh. And all you brought back was a hamburger. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Got it out of, out of Court Industries. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Cool. This is straight nightmarish. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay! Oh. Awesome. Oh. It looks so good. Oh, Free entry systems ready. This ain't what you want. This looks. Oh, those wings look so cool! I just wanna run. That is. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Yes, it's a reach weapon sometimes meant to. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. How are they going to tackle it? Because it's an effective I, I, Scarab, I think right? I cut a bus in half. The Scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. That's Jenny's mother. Okay, I think I know what. For your family. What story they're doing here? Who is that? Who? That's Ted Cord's beetle ship, which was. Have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. The cannon? Oh no, it is a big sword. Nice choice. That looks real cool, and that has got some style. Oh, it's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to rap. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. 
Yep, that's Ted Kord's Blue Beetle suit right there. So they've established, you know what? This has already answered my question. So they're doing Jenny. They're doing Jenny's mom who works at Cord Industries. They're doing the, the Beetle stuff. Hey, friggin' look at that. That is really well done. It's That's anime nice as hell, choice. I will say. That looks dope. That looks so dope. August 18th. I will not be in the country August 18th. So I will not be able to see this at midnight. Uh, I will be in... Oh, at that time, I will have left... Because I'm going to be in Europe during most of August for a wedding and then a little trip. So I will be out of Poland um, around the 13th. And then I'll think I'm doing Ireland after that. So I think our, I'm either going to be in Ireland or Greece on the 18th. I'm trying to remember. But then I'll be back a few days after that to go see Blue Beetle. And I am very excited. It's going to be dope. It looks so friggin' cool. Just look at that. The style and flair this, this trailer had was really impressive. Right? Like, it had panache. It had style. It was, mmm, chef's kiss. I am on board. Uh, but that's just my thoughts. Tell me what you think. It answered a lot of the questions I had, like, is Ted Kord going to be a pre-existing Blue Beetle? Or, and I like how heavily they're tying uh, Jaime's family into it, which they eventually did. It wasn't immediate in the comics, but I like it. Because, again, it gives a, a, like a more outside perspective, and I'm excited. I like it. I'm excited. I, I want to see more. Anyway. Yeah. So it looks like they're going to deal more with the human side. So I'm guessing if there is like a Blue Beetle 2 down the line, we might get some more stuff involving the Reach. But that's probably not going to be in the immediacy. Which I'm okay with. You build up to the Reach. Because that is a galactic empire of insect people. So you got to build up to that. Like, I, like that's a post-credit scene. Like the, the Scarab like unlocking something and... Jaime realizing how dangerous the scarab is or the scarab sending a signal or something. Or someone in the universe finding a signal from the scarab. There's a lot of potential there. But those are my thoughts. I want to hear yours down in the comment. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that like button. Help me grow the channel. And that's it. That's going to be all for this thing that I'm doing. It's been great hanging with you guys. I will be seeing you. Until next time. Peace.